Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and today I'm going to be bringing you another simple tutorial. This tutorial is going to be including some cards and as you scroll down they will flip into view uh, as though it's kind of using a 3D perspective. Uh, here's what it's going to look like. Okay, so as you can see I have a slider here. Uh, the main focus of today's video is the next section with the cards. So I'm just going to scroll down here and we have these cards coming in like this and then a basic CTA. So this is what we're going to be working on today. It's quite simple actually and uh, let's get right into it. Alright so I've just gone ahead and made a page here called Perspective Cards and I'm just going to edit this with Oxygen. Okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import some sections to make this process a little bit quicker. Once again this is a tutorial on motion page and not so much design but I will show you how this section is made up. So first I'm just going to import a hero section here and use the slider. Now below this section I want to add our cards, the cards that we're going to be working on today and this is under people here. Okay and finally what I want to do is just add another section just so that we can uh, actually scroll past these cards to see the full animation take place and I'm just going to add this one here newsletter. Alright so I'm just going to save this and show you how this looks on the front. So we have this hero section here which is a slider, cycle through these this is the main section that we're going to be working on. Um, these are the, just the cards here and then we just have a basic CTA here. Okay, so let's just have a quick look how this is made up. So here we have a parent container and this is just consisting of uh, four columns using grid. And within these columns we have the cards, okay? So these are just divs and we can target in motion page, we can target this parent here, the wrapper, and then we can target uh, everything within it. I'll show you how to do that with a selector in motion page. But for now this is all we need. So this is quite a basic setup. It's not difficult to create this kind of design. Uh, if you are using Elementor it might be better to actually add a class to these cards. Just something like a um, card or you know staff card because I know Elementor likes to produce a lot of divs in the DOM. So the way I'm going to do this today with my selector might not work in Elementor I'm not sure but if you are using Elementor once again just make sure you add a class to each card and then in motion page you can just target that class and it'll be much easier. All right so I'm just going to save this once again and I'm going to go ahead and open up motion page. Okay so what I need to do is go ahead and create a new timeline and I'm just going to go ahead and open up the page that we created which was this perspective cards. Alright so here's the page here and all I need to do is just give this timeline a name. Perspective cards and this animation wants to be on scroll so let's change the trigger here to scroll trigger. Now I do want to lock this to the scroll bar and I'm going to leave the delay to one second actually just to give it kind of a, a lagging effect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want it to start when the first element's top. So that's going to be the card top reaches this green line here which is currently at 85%. Now I think that's okay. So as soon as the green line is around here the animations are going to start. You can see it's touching the top of the card there. And I want the animation to finish when the top of the element reaches the red line. Now I'm going to move the red line up just a little bit. I'm going to move it up to around 5% and I want to make sure that uh, this is also selected to top. So the top just means this part here. If this is bottom it would be this part here. Alright so that's the setup for the, uh, the scroll trigger there. So next what I want to do is animate our cards. So like I said what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our scanner and use the parent wrapper. So that would be this one here. I'm going to select this. Now we don't want to animate this, we want to animate every single div inside of it. So all I'm going to do is right click on this, click on edit and uh, I'm going to use this symbol here. This targets the uh, the closest child and then I want to target every child within it uh, just by using the asterisks there. So now when I hover over this you can see it's selecting the first instance which is the CAD and that's what I want. Alright so what we need to do is we want to give this a 3D effect. Now in order to do this we need to use transform uh, perspective and also change the rotation on the X axis. So I'm going to go to custom here and I'm going to use the um, transform property. And then in here I want to do perspective and I'm going to use a value of 2000 pixels, uh, not 200 sorry, 2000. Uh, and we also need to rotate it on the x-axis. Alright, so it's actually going to uh, flip down like this. And you'll see this in a second. Rotate on the x-axis. And we want to do it by 90 degrees. 
So you can see how they have um, kind of fallen down as though the top of the, uh, the card is falling backwards. And you can see it more here. So as I scroll now. All right, so you can see it's not uh, quite desirable at the moment. So what we'll need to do is on the two, uh, I'm just going to copy this value here and just make sure that we're setting it to zero. So transform, copy and paste that and change this uh, rotate to zero degrees. And this gives us a much better effect here now. Okay, cool. What I want to do next is I want to stagger this. So instead of um, the whole line animating like this, well, actually, they're all animating at the same time because we're using the selector. Uh, I'm just going to go here. Make sure you're on the two. And I'm just going to click on stagger. I'm going to change this value here to amount. and I'm going to change this to five seconds. So now what you can see is they animate in one by one like so. I'm also going to change the ease to none. Just it's a, a little bit more linear. And that looks much better. Yeah, that's good. I don't want it to animate too slow. So around the bottom there where the green line is, I think that's a perfect value. So that's looking pretty good. The next thing I want to do now is target the pictures inside. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new node here. I'm going to move it here like this. And now I just want to target every image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this selector here. We can use this. So just copy, press enter once again and go here. So now what I want to do is I want to just target every image within this uh, container here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, container ID and then just type image and that's going to target every image inside of this, uh, this parent container here. All right. Now what I want to do with the images is I want them to start out black and white. Uh, so let's do that first on the from. We can go to filter and then saturate. We can uh, put this to 0%. All right, so they're going to start black and white as you can see. And then on two, I just want to make sure to put them back to 100% saturation. And just like we did with the uh, cards themselves, we want to stagger them as well. So let's put this to the same value of five seconds. So now when I scroll, as you can see, the card comes in, it stands up vertically, and then only after that, the color of the images come into play. So this is just slightly colored. This is still black and white. Now this is fully colored, fully colored, black and white still. And just like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, if you want this animation to last a little bit longer, uh, all you'd need to do is just change this to a, a lesser value. So for example, let's do minus 20. And that should animate in more slowly now, as you can see. And I think that actually looks, uh, a little, it feels better anyway. So I'm going to save the timeline and view this on the front end. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down here. See these are animating in quite nice. Uh, very cool. Uh, let's just get a more smoother scrolling experience here. Yeah, nice. So a very simple effect there, as you can see, uh, using perspective and rotation. And we're also using the filter. So just with those three things, this is uh, the kind of things you can achieve with motion page. So there you have it, guys. Just simple tutorial for the new year 2024. Happy New Year, by the way, from all of us at motion page. Uh, we hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And we will be back with another video very soon. Thank you very much.